Hello, welcome to more Vintage Cube. We got a Mox. Mox is good. It is the worst Mox. I decided that previously. Uh, the order is blue, black, red, white, green. So it's the worst one, but it's still a Mox, so I'll definitely take it. Um, the next best card probably is either Ponder, Vampiric Tutor, or Remand. Although I do like Zealous Conscripts, also Kiki Jiki, but we're going to take the Mox and see where it takes us. Hmm... Okay, so let's see. The card that stands out to me the most is Tolarian Academy. Academy with Moxin is so much better than Academy with anything else. Because if you go like turn one, Academy, Mox, Signet, and you just untap turn two with like a bunch of mana, that's probably the most busted thing you can do. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Especially if you pick up Academy early, you can find artifacts to make it work. So I like that. I like Gush. Ulamog is probably the second best Eldrazi besides Emrakul. And then Confluence and Garrick are good. I'm going to try Academy. I don't think I've drafted this deck yet. Oh. Okay, so here's the decision. We can take Blightsteel, and Blightsteel is really good in the artifact deck if you get like Lightning Greaves, Forge Master, Tinker. Simic Signet, you know, enables Academy. Ah, this is hard. I think I'm going to take Signet. There are more artifact payoffs than Blightsteel, and just getting a critical mass of Signets is super necessary to make Telerian Academy good. So, I don't know. I don't actually know what's correct in that pick. I think you can make arguments either way, but I'm just going to take this one because if we take Blightsteel and the artifact deck isn't open, then we just have a Blightsteel for no reason. But if we take Signet and the artifact deck isn't open, Signets are still great. Hmm. Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. It is an artifact, so that works with Academy. It's also just busted. It won't do anything, but the artifact deck also wants a bunch of wants a bunch of draw sevens, and it's a good tinker target. So I will, uh, I'll take it here. We'll see what happens. Mm, Orzov Signet, Sensei's Divining Top, Brainstorm. I'm probably just gonna take the Orzov Signet. I don't love Top. Technically, you can use it to combo with Lion's Eye Diamond, but. A lot of the time, it's just a Durly artifact. And yeah, I'll just take the mana. Also, top might wheel. Ooh. Flooded Strand is good. That is a very late Sulfuric Vortex. I could also take Watery Grave. Here's another card I'm very upset that they took out, is the blue-black Tezzeret. I guess there's many. The, the four-drop one, the first Tezzeret. That card's so good. You just, like, play Tezzeret, turn your Lion's Eye Diamond into a 5-5, five five, kill them. Um... I don't really know what colors I am. I think I'm going to take Flooded Strand. It get, grabs any blue duel. So if I grab like Volcanic Island, this becomes a second copy of Volcanic Island. Whereas Watery Grave isn't nearly as good. Ooh. I will take Battle Sphere. Battle Sphere Tellurian Academy is a very real combo. Cozlite -like going around this late is a bit concerning, but I do like seeing this many artifacts. Makes me feel pretty happy. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been Mono Brown. I love this deck. Mmm. Technically, Tide Hollow Scholar is an artifact, but Banefire Talarian Academy is also a legitimate way to win the game. So I'm, I'm interested in that. Banefire's impressed me with how sweet it is if you can get a bunch of mana. And like, Talarian Academy plus Frantic Search, you could, I could see getting there. Ooh, Workshop. Okay, I mean, Boros Signet is also awesome, but we have Academy and Workshop now, so that's pretty good. We got Ulamog? What are people taking? Guys, what do you take? <laughs> I won't complain. Keep doing what you what you're doing. Um, I mean, like, <laughs> sure. All right, we'll take blight steel. Artifacts are open. You could say. Um, hangerback walker is pretty good. Play a huge one. Really good with workshop. All right, artifacts are as open as they could possibly be. I just got a snipe a frantic search from somebody. Um, what colors? I think. Probably Faith's Fetters is the best card here. Now I'll take a Shieldred. I'm not playing that. Ooh, Ravages could get there. We get like a Crucible of Worlds in a Strip Mine. Ooh. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, I'll take a moment. Breathe. What are you gonna do here? So, for those who don't know, Strip Mine is my favorite card in the cube. I don't think it's the pick. I think this deck can do a lot more busted stuff with Grim Monolith in particular. Um, going like Workshop into Monolith. How, how quickly can we... I think we can definitely turn to a Battlesphere doing that. Yeah, Workshop, Monolith, 
untap play land, easy battle sphere. Um, so I'm gonna take Grim Monolith, hope to wheel Mind Slaver, Strip Mine, or even Rakdos Signet. Yeah, I just I gotta take this. Wow. <sighs> so Library of Alexandria is very very good, but there's a Metal Worker, Phyrexian Metamorph, and Frantic Search all in this deck, in this pack. I don't know what to take. I want them all. I feel like this deck generates mana too quickly to actually want library. I mean, it's really, really good. Like, I'm not going to say library's bad. We have the library and the academy. I have no idea what to take in this pick. I feel like the correct take is just... <sighs> Frantic Search, I guess, is a bit win more because you already have mana off Tolarian Academy. I'm going to take Metalworker. He just generates so much mana. If we can find, like, a Lightning Greaves, maybe we can wheel Metamorph. Yeah, Metal Worker seems great. Now I can take Kotal the Forge Master, try and wheel a Tezzeret. That seems pretty solid. Forge Master off Workshop is... Oh. My. Gosh. <laughs> the problem is we're going to cast Upheaval too quickly, and then opponents, like... If you Upheaval turn one, it's impressive, but it doesn't do anything. I would love Coercive Portal in this deck. I can cast it turn one so easily, but Upheaval is an excellent way to win the game. I'm just going to take up people. Gilded Lotus? Okay. Let's take a Lotus. This is like the dream come true. We have everything we could ever want. Um, Sword of Fire and Ice. I don't usually like taking artifacts, but we can cast it really easily off of Workshop, and it can theoretically let Blightsteel get through for damage, so we'll see. It also triggers Academy. Like, I'm not above that. Okay. Lightning Greaves. <laughs> I'm like hyperventilating right now. This is disgusting. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. I could take High Tide and Wheel of Frantic Search. Maybe. And this deck is mono blue. Like I could cut Banefire. Or I can take Memory Jar. <sighs> okay, what do I need? Mana or spells? This is so hard. Um, I guess Memory... Oh, it's so hard. I'm gonna take Memory Jar though. High Tide would have been, like, one of the most busted things we could have done. We can Mind Slaver here. I don't think I'm to Mind Desire. And if we get Frantic Search, yeah, I think, okay, I feel better now. Because High Tide is, like, amazing. And I would love it in this deck, but I think Jar is probably just safer. Especially because we didn't get Frantic Search. So now I can play stuff like Rishad in Port and not worry about it. <sighs> if I, if they weren't in the same pack, though, that would have been so gross. Mmm... Winter Orb. Oh, Tezzeret. Yeah, Tezzeret's pretty awesome here. Yeah, I'll take Tezzeret. Tezzeret Ultimate is a great way to win the game. Um, I'll take a Faithless Looting. There are some cards that want artifacts in the graveyard, and our mana requirements are not strict at all. I actually do need more, like, Signets. That's kind of an issue. It's like a Moat, I suppose. And a Bazaar of Baghdad. And Tristani. All right, yeah, so I do need more Signets because... Or Mox. If we get Mox... <laughs> Whoa, dude. This pack has everything. Volcanic, Coalition Relic, Bribery. If I had taken Strip Mine, I could have gotten Crucible, but this is better. I'm not going to complain. We got two Mox and with Tolerian Academy. That's about as good as you can ask for. Ooh, Lightning Greaves. I, I have to take... I can't risk this card not wheeling. Lightning Greaves with Metal Workers busted... With Forge Master is busted, with Blight Steel is busted, with Tinker, like it does everything. I would love to take Wheel of Fortune, but I cannot pass this card. Ooh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I guess I take Time Spiral here. <laughs> Time Spiral Tolarian Academy is disgusting. If I had High Tide, I'm so sad I didn't get High Tide. This deck would have been unbearably good. But I'll take Time Spiral. We can try and wheel the Chalice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take Time Spiral. It's just like, even with Workshop, it's pretty busted. But with, with if we go like Academy, Mox, Mox, Signet or something, and we can cast Time Spiral and generate a ton of mana that way, it just seems great. Plus it's a way to reshuffle our win conditions. What? It's not a single artifact in this deck except Gear Hulk, and we don't have any instants. What's up with that? Um, I guess I take Bloodstained Mire in case Volcanic Wheels, but I'm not even playing that. I'm not doing any of this. I'll take Bloodstained Mire. We'll see what happens. Uh-oh. We kind of need 
a couple more signets here. I guess I take Emrakul the Promised End because it's big and scary. Venser would be another option, but I think a lot of our game plan is just like turn one metal worker off workshop, turn two generate like 10,000 mana. We do need more artifacts though. It's getting a little close. I need like one or two more signets for this deck to be perfect. Tanglewire is technically an artifact. Hmm. Do I want Tanglewire or do I want Gibson given? I guess I could theoretically put in Enlightened Tutor. What does Enlightened Tutor grab? Mox, Mox, Mind Slaver, those type of things. I don't love gifts. I think I'm most likely to want Enlightened Tutor here. Oh, where are our artifacts? Come on, deck. Signet. We need a Signet. We need like one more. Ah! I don't think we're going to get any. No. <sighs> it's okay. Thirst for Knowledge can help us get there. It just draws a bunch of cards. I feel like, although Mandalik could be good, I think this deck is kind of all in on Tinker. So just finding Tinker or all of our other combos, we don't really need to interact. We'll just kill them as fast as humanly possible. You know what, Crucible of Worlds, you are an artifact. You get the nod. I, I don't know if it actually does, but... That pack started out so strong and it got picked clean. Do I play Crucible? I can cast it off Workshop. Um, I don't really... Oh, I guess Crucible of the World's Flooded Strand is kind of good. Oh, interesting. There's Oblivion Stone and Fire Nice. Oblivion Stone's pretty bad in the deck, but I, I might use it eventually. Burning of Jinye. Okay, I could sideboard that in. We're like not locked into Mono Blue. Empty or Phoenix. Take Yona. <laughs> I theoretically can also cast Iona. Day of Judgment. Okay. Maybe I'm blue-white. I could play Moat. <laughs> oh! I have a Crucible Ravages of War. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, I think I have enough uh, playables here. Yeah, so I can make some cuts now. Um, Day of Judgment seems unnecessary. I can just cut Enlightened Tutor and run the deck as is. So what would I be tutoring for? Basically just Lightning Greaves? It does seem pretty good. It's like just another copy of any artifact I want. So I think I run it. I have quite a few white sources, plus Orzhov Signet gets there. Nine and one. I mean, we could do like 14, 15, 16 land. Do I want just 16? Because right now I've Enlightened Tutor with one, two, three, four, five, six white sources. I think I think I do want the tutor in the deck. I think that is true. Um, I could just cut Days and add another land here. Playing a one of Days is funny, but it's pretty bad with Time Spiral. And then I just have like big dudes. Okay, I think I like that. LED Time Spiral is good. Get Saks to Forge Master. And I'm just running Crucible of Worlds for the... I think I cut Crucible of Worlds here and played Dace. It's an artifact technically, but not super necessary. If our opponent is dirtily, I think I bring in Ravages, but as it currently stands, I don't need it. See you guys round one. All right, we're playing against Dr. John Osterman. This hand is a keep. I can basically Enlighten Tutor for whatever I want, and if things get sketchy, I can O-Stone. Unfortunately, this cannot tutor up uh Oh, I have all these stops. Unfortunately, can't tutor up draw steps. Uh oh. Okay, so he's like pretty aggressive. I don't want to draw more land, so I will flooded strand for a planes. I also don't want to accidentally like fetch shuffle my enlightened tutor target away. I've done that like once or twice where you like have a complicated series of turns and you're like, I'm gonna vampiric tutor and then fetch and then like play this other spell and then you're like, wait, that's not how a vampiric tutor works. Uh. Well, that's a problem. My O-Stone game plan is not there anymore. Maybe I wait one turn. What do I want to draw? I could get a Mox and play O-Stone, but O-Stone's pretty bad against Selfless Spirit. Um, I can get Metal Worker and then try and Mind Slaver them. I'm going to wait a turn, but I will fetch. Well, I guess I can look at my deck and see. So Metal Worker... If I draw, like, Tinker, I can get, like, Lightning Greaves or something. Simic Signet. Yeah, I don't really have anything to get. Grim Monolith is the best card I could consider. But let's just naturally draw it, and then we can Enlighten Tutor for, like, the other half of any combos. 
Okay, so probably just gonna grab a monolith given that I have time spiral. Honor of the pure. All right, we might just die. I think I could bring in moat. Lightning Tutor. Yeah, Moat and Lightning Tutor is also kind of funny. Actually, Metal Worker is better than Grim Monolith. I'm going to do that. It's our best shot. I basically need them to not have a way to kill it. Just go Island, Metal Worker, and I can like Metal Worker into Time Spiral, and then hopefully go like Land, Mox, Academy, Signet. Am I going to get Manatized? No. Oh, that was gross. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's how you win games. That That is how White Weenie wins games. Okay, that is probably the best possible White Weenie start. So we're definitely bringing a Crucible Moat. And I'm going to cut... Memory Jar seems not that necessary. And Days Against White Weenie could get there. Not that necessary. But now I have a Enlightened Tutor for Moat. I'm going to put some more planes in. And I can win through a moat because I have upheaval. It can just keep me alive for a very long time. So let's do that. All right, game two, we're going first. Let's win. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're so close. I mean, a workshop off the top, I guess, would definitely do it because of Metal Worker. A Mox would do it. Problem is we're on the play. I don't think I can keep this. All right, <laughs> this, this works. We've got Tinker into a Blight Steel. I don't need a Battle Sphere. Um, I think drawing a Mox would be even better. If I draw a Mox, I can go turn two Tinker. The thing I'm worried about is my opponent having swords. Wow. Uh, we can do this. Workshop into Grim Monolith into Tinker. That is a pretty good start. And this plays around um, Manatithe. So Tinker that away okay so if i get swords to plowshares or if i get blight steel and they have swords that's bad but if i get mer battle sphere and they have swords that's also bad let's just go for the win play signet here ah we played around manatai look how good we are at this game <laughs> what no stop get out of here oh my gosh all right, Enlightened Tutor, do something. That was... <sighs> Opponent beat a turn two Tinker on the play. It's not, it's not every day that that happens. They even had the Mana type too, I just realized. Like, so many things went right. All right. Well, I'm not beating these draws. Well, I might. If I beat this draw, I don't know. Batter Skull? Okay, I can beat a Batter Skull. Let's go Enlightened Tutor. All right. What artifact can save us here? I cut Memory Jar, the one card that I wanted! Everything is going so poorly. Yeah, I wanted Memory Jar. And I just don't have that anymore. And they countered my Signet, so Forge Master is a bad play. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, let's get... Oblivion Stone's so bad, though, because I have to draw two more mana sources. But it does deal with that. Fine, I'll get an O-Stone. Them, uh, them countering my Simic Signet is probably going to cost me the game. And it was just because I got lazy. I didn't even play around Mana Tithe. And we lost our Monolith. Yeah, this is probably too slow. Okay, so they get a 2-2. They get a Batter Skull. We have to draw a land. That's the only option. I can't believe I got rid of Memory Jar. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, this is when nothing goes your way. This is basically it. Yep. Well, we have uh, two turns. So if I draw running mana sources, Gilded Lotus, I guess. Unreal, man. Yeah, you take that. Gilded Lotus is still our best possible draw, I think. And a Skull Clamp for... Am I dead? Is that lethal next turn? One, two, three, four, eight. I'm dead next turn. Uh, Grim Monolith is gone. I don't think I have any outs. All right. All right, this can't, uh, I'm just going to try it. I don't think I can. Yeah, all right. Brutal. And that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, all right. On to round two, I guess. 
All right, welcome to round two. We're gonna do better. I promise. We're gonna go first. Look, where were these hands before? <laughs> this, is, this is like the best possible thing. We're gonna go turn one, island, mox, hangerback walker, turn two, tinker, and uh, enjoy your blight steal. Ooh. Okay, so we have a fallback now. Let's go... I don't want him to know I have Rashad import, so I'm going to do this. We're going to attack with Hangerback. Because every damage matters. And then Tinker out of Blightsteel. There you go. That's what the deck should be doing. Unsure how you deal with this. I feel like the only card I can think of would be Ice from Fire and Ice. But that's good too. Let's go Port. Uh, move to combat. Yeah, only thing I can think of is ice. Yeah. Look how good I am at this game. But now we can just port down their island. Tap this. Go ahead. Alright, alright. See? that That's what should have happened. Opponent's on blue. I don't know what's happening. Our deck's good. This hand is actually terrible. We're gonna mulligan. I'll keep this. It's not the best, but we have Tezzeret. Interesting. Workshop. Workshop's so good in general that I think it is a card I would like to draw. I can turn one Signet off of it, but that makes us Tezzeret slower. Although I can go Workshop, Signet. That lets us Mind Slaver much faster. Let's just do that. Let's four mana. Next turn we have five artifact mana, so if we draw like Gilded Lotus, we can cast it. Yeah, and I think just playing a hasty Mind Slaver is good. Island, okay. Let's go Island, pass turn, because that's five mana. Next turn we have six for Mind Slaver. And then the following turn we can activate Mind Slaver. Ooh, kind of like Memory Jar 2. I'm just going to run out Mind Slaver. I think it's a lower impact. Like if they counter this, that's fine. If they don't counter it, then I can just Mind Slaver them and then kill them. And I think Memory Jar is going to be much more valuable. Okay, it resolves. Well, if they don't have Ancient Grudge, Mind Slaver is staying around. Fired Confluence would kind of destroy me. Green makes me feel like they have Ancient Grudge. Don't. <sighs> Fine. It's okay. Though. We have Memory Jar coming down. We have Blight Steel in our hand. One, two, three, four, five. Cast Jar. Pass turn. Well, it's got a lot of colors. Tamio. All right. What is Tamio going to target? Hopefully, Workshop. Targeting Memory Jar. That's okay, I have Tezzeret. <laughs> Got him. Ooh, O-Stone, okay, let's go Island. Five, play Tezzeret. Um, let's play O-Stone. And then, we can Tamio. I kind of want a minus zero just to grab a Mox. Yeah. And I'll just grab a Mox Emerald. Go. And if we draw a uh, Telerian Academy, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So Telerian Academy can currently hardcast Blightsteel Colossus. And I know I could have upticked Tezzeret and then set up for the Tezzeret Ultimate. Hmm. Why would they tap O Stone? I don't really feel the need to Enlighten Tutor. I kind of just want a Memory Jar. All right, let's do it. There's Lightning Greaves Upheaval. Gilded Lotus. Upheaval and Memory Jar is kind of gross. I'm kind of into it. And I have Blight Steel in my hand. I can Tezzeret minus three for Metal Worker and then play and equip Lightning Greaves. That only adds two mana. I can't Forge Master. Um, so let's do this and play Gilded Lotus. That kind of converts Workshop into non-artifact mana. Plus we can Tezzeret untap, which also seems pretty good. Add a bunch of blue. What can I play post upheaval? I think I can do a lot. Tezzeret untaps these two. Add a bunch of blue. Let's just try for upheaval. Just resolves. All right, let's go workshop. Let's play Mox Emerald. And all the stuff that went into their hand is going to get put in the jar. We win the match. See you guys on three. We are against Ivan Tortuga on the play. We can turn one Enlightened Tutor for a Mox. Kind of like this. 
yeah, I'm going to tutor for a Mox here. Play turn two Metal Worker, and that generates a ton of mana. That plus Memory Jar should just do it. End step. Cleans. Tutor. Mox Ruby. Hopefully they don't kill Metal Worker. Wow, I just realized Metal Worker plus Tezzeret is kind of awesome as well. Okay, let's go land. Mox. Metal Worker. Pass turn. And if you can't kill it, have fun. Pack rat. We can uh, we can beat a pack rat. I like island. So let's go metal worker. Reveal these two. Island. I kind of want to just play memory jar, and then Rishid import them on their upkeep. That seems good to me. Tap this. Hold up blue. And then memory jar metal worker should generate just so much mana. Ooh, strip mine is kind of good. They strip our blue. Okay, so I'm going to jar on my upkeep just to maximize the number of artifacts in my hand. Uh, that is lethal. It's uh, embarrassingly lethal, but it is lethal. So let's Lightning Greaves. Um, play the Lightning Greaves. Dark Ritual. I'm going to daze that. It just like limits the amount of interaction they could have. And then let's tinker away the metal worker. Grab blight steel. Just get them. Beautiful. Alright. Uh don't really don't really know what I'm playing around because they just died so fast. So let's see, let's see it. Opponent's up to 41 cards. Uh this is Tinker backed up by Daze. And hope to not get thought seized. Seems good. Yeah, turn three Tinker with Days back up, and then Mono Black has such a hard time dealing with Blight Steel. I don't actually care about that. Ooh. Let's go Plains, Grim Monolith into. Wow, the Signet tap for blue. Signet. So now I can Tinker away the Monolith. Wow, opponent's on straight up Mono Black Devotion. Respect. Terrible matchup for them because Blight Steel is very hard to deal with in Mono Black, except for Toxic Deluge. Collective Brutality. All right. You got my Tinker. Opponent played around days, but I could just set up for upheaval now, so that's also fine. Sure. Take one. Untap this. Interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Yeah, we're we're just gonna do it. Cast upheaval. Let's go island. And I think I just play signet. I would like to have grim monolith mana available in the following turn because it's gonna be a bit before I can untap the monolith. And now I have days, which I don't think they know about, but somehow played around. <laughs> Yeah, ultimate price is not at its best here. So let's go planes. Play metal worker. Go. Um, bitter blossom. I don't actually have a way to deal with, but hypnotic specter also doesn't do anything. I'm gonna daze this. Hypnotic specter does nothing if your hand is full of nothing, and we're gonna play everything we can. Yeah, reveal all these. Six. We're gonna play mind slaver. I feel like I kind of just want to activate it. Yeah, we'll just activate it, see what's in their hand. Take your turn. Crystal Brand, Hypnotic Spectre, Raska's Contempt. Not the best turn I've ever taken. So, ugh, we just leave them? All right, that was a very expensive time walk. Thirst is good though, let's go Island. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna tap this to add Lion's Eye Diamond mana because I kinda wanna discard it. Tap this Signet, play Thirst. Discard Artifact, LED, then we can go Simic Signet, and set up for a big Hangerback Walker next turn. The problem is Hangerback Walker is so bad against the Vraska's Contempt. But I suppose I can stop that with a uh, Rishidan Port for a turn. Yeah, I suppose so. Let's do that, play the Mox, get mana, get mana, cast this for however much this is. Four. Okay. 
<laughs> we got a 4-4. Put a stop in their upkeep so they can't contempt. They're going to make me discard a random thing. Their hand's, like, not so bad. I wish... <clears throat> I, I wish it was still revealed. But it was, like, Bristlebrand, Vasquez Contempt, and some other stuff. Yeah, Scrap Heap, Scrounger. So we have a bunch of mana. We can, like, hardcast an Ulamog, probably. Or play an island. So let's play island. Um, I can attack with Hangerback, but I kind of want to force them to Vraska's Contempt the Hangerback Walker before they can start attacking. Yeah, so I don't I don't think hitting them for damage does anything. We just have to top deck one of our big top end cards. We're going to tap Caracas, I guess. Mm-hmm. Untap this. Hope for the best. Oh, Strip Mine's good. Why did they bring in Caracas? Did they know Bladesteel's not legendary, is he? I don't think he is. That's five. So we have three turns. And we have Memory Jar somewhere. And Time Spiral. All right. Memory Jar. Okay, Time Spiral's good. One, two, three, four. Um, do five, six. Test Spiral. All right, Academy is pretty good here. Yeah, Academy is very good here. An opponent already used Strip Mine. So if I can thirst for knowledge into uh, anything, then we're in business. So we're going to try that. Lines out Diamond, Mind Slaver. I kind of want to just discard two islands. I think I can set it up where I can Mind Slaver them and Forge Master. Let's go Academy. We have 11 mana. Uh, I like play, activate Mind Slaver. Gilded Lotus seems good. Forge Master seems good. Um, might as well just play them all. Cast this, play the sword. And then activate Mind Slaver, take their turn, and untap the Monolith. All right, see what you got. Sword of Feast and Fand, Bitter Blossom, Collective Brutality. Is this, this is each opponent, and this can kill creatures, okay, so. Yeah, Collective Brutality is kind of gross here. Collective Brutality, three modes. Me, this, this. Discard two cards. So, Liliana's Triumph. None of these cards do very much, but I want Gristlebrand in their hand, and I want to get rid of their interaction. So we're going to take Triumph and Ophiomancer. Sure. Why won't this work? Hang on, I don't know why it won't let me do it. Hang on. Okay, that worked, I guess. So now we kill their scrap heap. Block here. And I tap their mana so they can't get back scrap heap. And don't play any lands. All right, seems good. And uh, my hand's busted. Oh, there's an upheaval. That's pretty good. Um, Quip sword here. We know they have no way to deal with uh, light steel, but I want to hit first. Two damage to you, we draw. Days. Perfect. Um, I think I can just upheaval and then replay everything. So let's just do that. Then we're going to go Academy, Mox, Monolith. That might be the grossest upheaval turn I've ever seen. Signet, Signet, Gilded Lotus, uh, Forge Master. Sword, Metalworker, Lion's Eye Dime. <laughs> uh, the old upheaval, and still have a hand left after it. Nine, we'll equip Sword to the Forge Master, and pass turn. Enjoy! And we have Rashad in port too. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're going to go Rishid and Port. Uh, equip Sword over to Metalworker, because <clears throat> I want to Forge Master end of turn. Um, I guess I'd do it using Academy. Do that. Two to you. I draw. Oh, Battle Sphere is pretty good. All right, let's uh, move to their upkeep, port them down. And if they... Somehow, 
have a way to deal with this, I'll be quite impressed. Forge Master, sacrificing LED, Signet, and Monolith. Grabbing Blight Steel. All right, opponent scooped. Uh, that was quick. I, I was talking to him. He said that I could have Forge Mastered at the end of turn, but I'm pretty at the end of turn when I was mind slavering them. But I, he was definitely summoning sick. Otherwise, I would have done that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I think this was probably one of the most powerful decks I've ever had. Round one was kind of a fluke, where the mono white player. If you're if you're playing as a mono white player who curves out perfectly and has like the timely mana tithe. It's hard to win no matter how good your deck is, so unfortunate. But thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.